Hello so guys, today I want to talk about if your OBS Studios doesn't capture your game. So it's quite simple to fix this problem actually. First of all what you want to do is you just want to go to your sources and you want to go to your game. So what you do is go to game capture or if you want to record with something else like um, let's just say you can also do it with a video capture device if you have for example a Elgato HD or you can go to like display or you can go to window so what I'm gonna choose for right now is game capture let's click on OK and now what's gonna say is capture any full screen application so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and keep on this or what you can do is you can go to capture specific window and once you go to here you want to select the window that you want to capture so right now I'm gonna start off a really simple game so guys who guessed it I started off Roblox okay now what you want to do on that game is really simple if you go to full screen uh, capture any full screen and let's just click on OK if it's gonna capture wait let me go to settings of my game so what you want to do really easily guys is you just want to go to your settings of your game and you want to make sure on the settings of your game that it's full screen and it doesn't matter which game it is guys you want to make sure it's full screen so you should see something on your game capture card right now if you don't see anything guys really simple what you do is you just right click and go to remove and once you go to remove just go ahead and add it back again so let's go back to game capture click on ok and now it should actually display so let's see if it's gonna work out so after waiting a bit it still doesn't work so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to capture a specific window and guys, OBS Studios is a bit glitched, like some games don't work, some games do work on full screen, but for example on Streamlabs it actually does work if I uh, do just the exactly same thing on Streamlabs, but on here sometimes it just glitches out for some type of reason. So if that happens ever to you, go to capture specific window and click on OK. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna actually start off just recording your game without any like uh, stuff uh, between it or next to it and you can also now just go ahead and make your full screen a lot smaller so let me do that I'm gonna make it smaller and you will still see the game perfectly guys so I can I can make it like really small and you still can see it that's quite cool actually so let me make it back to normal and now let's just go ahead and yeah that was basically it if you get like a black screen on your game capture if you want to capture games and you get black screen this is how you can easily fix it but if you still get problems guys i'm also going to go further to some other fixes in this video really easily so if that ever happens to you guys that you get a lot more problems than usual let me go ahead and leave the game and let me show you some other things what you can do so what you want to do is really simply close off your game now let's just say that you also have that problem if you want to capture just your desktop or if you just enable display capture and you also have the same problem so what's what can you do about it really simple guys what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and go to your just right click and go to display settings over here and once you click on that you want to go over to graphic settings over here and guys it's more for the people that also have black screen on display capture window capture and video uh, capture device so once you click on graphic settings you want to go over to desktop app or if you don't have desktop app if you have something like a classical app you also want to click on that just click on here for right now for me and I'm gonna delete this real quick so you want to go to browse and then like I'm all already here but what's gonna happen is you're gonna be here and what you want to do is you just want to search up for your OBS studios but most likely guys it's gonna be here Windows uh, C I don't know that drive or it's gonna be basically here but mine is over here Windows and Either it's going to be on program files or program files uh, 86. So mine is over here, program files. 
but yours could be any different location guys that's why i'm saying that you want to go to obs studio you want to add that and you want to go to bin and on here yours called say 32 bits but mine says 64 bits so just click it it doesn't matter which bit it says and you want to go to obs with your bit and you just want to click on add once you click on add you want to go to options over here and you want to go to power saving so what you do is you go to power saving and click on save and now you can just restart your obs so once you restart your obs guys it should be actually fine so let's just go ahead and start it off and let's just add a really simple thing like our display and we should see our screen really simple and now oops, oops do it like this and now we can just start off recording so this was more the video for how you can fix your game if it's not capturing if you get black screen on obs studios but yeah this is also maybe a fix for the people that have it also on display capture and some other things and what if it still doesn't work out what you can do is let's go back on here what I suggest you guys to do is go to options and go to high performance mode and see how it's gonna perform but if that doesn't work go to uh, power if that doesn't work go back to let windows decide so what happens sometimes is guys your GPU changes with your processor and stuff like that so that's maybe why you have the problem so that's how you can just go ahead and fix it on here and now let's go ahead and go back let's go more to the last fix what I can show you so what could happen is that there is maybe something wrong on your settings so what you do sometimes is if you never notice that guys once you scroll sometimes your settings automatically change like if I do this like for sometimes some type of reason this over here like changes it could happen that maybe you change something on your settings uh, accidentally it actually happened to me I had to reset my Streamlabs OBS so what you can do to fix that how you can reset your settings really easy you want to first off go to scene collection go to export and what you want to do is really simple you want to first off save your scenes over here so make sure that you save them before resetting your Streamlabs OBS so save them as whatever you want and click on save once you did that, you want to go over to file, go to show file folder, I mean show settings folder. And on here, what you want to do is if you have some saved logs, for example, on here, or if you have some other saved up things, you want to go ahead and save that on your desktop maybe. But what we are going to do on here is we are going to delete all of these settings. I mean the files so what you do is you select them all you right click and you want to go to delete so actually I have a video uploaded how to reset your settings on OBS studios it's actually uploaded like a couple months ago so you can also watch that video but I just showed you guys in this video right now so you don't really have to watch that but you can but once you do delete all of these files guys what's gonna happen is you just want to go ahead and close off your OBS studios or you want to make sure that your OBS studios is already closed off and you just want to go ahead and start off your OBS studios again and it's it's gonna be all reset guys all of your settings are gonna be reset and what you can try out now is you can just try out to add your game capture or whatever that you want to do but most likely you are gonna try to add a game capture it's like specific for this video but now you can just go ahead and try it out and guys if it's not your game like that also makes sense if it's not your game you want to go to window capture so on here you can just automatically change on here you can actually change it on whatever uh, window that you want you can like open up Spotify for example let me do that so once I open a Spotify I can I can actually change that but it doesn't show up for some type of reason so let me close it off discords and what I'm gonna do is I have a lot of 
things added on here. I'm going to delete them all. So shift, get them deleted. I'm just going to add one. That's sometimes also the reason, guys, it glitches if you add a lot of uh, displays and recording stuff like that. Let's go back to window capture and call this Spotify. So once we call this Spotify, it's actually going to go ahead and record Spotify automatically, like you see, guys, over here. So that's also what you can do, guys. You can change the name uh, the name of the file and it will just automatically go to like let's just say you change it to roblox it will just automatically search up roblox on your window and start recording that or the other game that you want so what you can do is save click on ok and now we have our yeah or spotify over here yeah i think this was basically the video guys if you still cannot fix this but like i think 99 percent of people can actually fix this by right now because i showed you a lot of things what you can actually do to fix this problem but for that one percent what i suggest you guys to do is you want to check out if your computer is stable enough if it can support it actually if it uh, got access to your administrator and stuff like that so try to maybe open it with your administrator over here or what you can do is you can go to your settings option over here and you want to go over to network and internet you want to go to windows firewall on here what you want to do is you want to go to your allow an app through firewall over here and on here go to change settings go to your obs studio so where's my obs studio i think i skipped it already so if you can find it on here what you want to do is simply you want to just enable the you just want to allow the settings like you want to click this for example and also click these two but i don't think OBS Studios is on here so I'm not sure guys maybe I just skipped it but yeah I don't think it's on here but my Streamlabs OBS is on here but for some type of reason my OBS isn't here so like if if I can show you guys my Streamlabs OBS it's actually on here like you see but my OBS isn't but if you can find it guys you just want to simply click on these settings over here and then click on OK and you just want to allow them through your firewalls and you can see and try test out if those work but if nothing works guys what you can try out is just go ahead go to your search bar go to obs and you just want to go ahead and just right click and uninstall so uninstall the application and just see out if it actually gonna happen um, work out if you download back again so these are some couple things which you can try out and mostly guys if none of these work basically i think your computer is a bit too old it could happen or you need to upgrade your drivers on like geforce or, or something like that so thanks for watching guys this was basically videos like it took about like almost 14 minutes actually so if you could like and subscribe that will really help me out guys and if it worked out you can leave that in the comments down below. If it still doesn't work out, if you have some some kind of issue, maybe, you can also leave that in the comments down below. Really simply, guys. And you can, like I said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The link will be in the description. Also, my Discord server also, guys. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, take care, guys, and goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.